In this video, I will teach you how to count the number of cells which contain specific text in Excel. I have a series of cells over here. And what I want to do is that I want to count the number of cells which contain the text rows. And in order to do that, I'm going to use the count if formula. And here's how it goes. So equal sign count if, then I will select the range, comma. Now in the criteria section, instead of just entering the text rows, I'm going to put an asterisk before and after the text rows. And here's how it goes. So asterisk, rows, then another asterisk, then double quotations, and ending parentheses, and then enter. So you can see there are a total of seven occurrences of the text rows within this range, and all occurrences have been counted using this counted formula. Now the asterisk in this formula is called a wildcard character. And what it does is it basically matches everything. So it says, hey, I don't care what comes before or after the text rows. I will count all cells which contain the text rows. And I will return that number. Now, if you want to match rows only at the beginning, all you have to do is to remove the beginning asterisk over here. So I'll remove this and I'll click enter. And you can see only one has been returned. And that's because there's only one cell which begins with the text rows. That's why we have correctly received the result one. And uh, similarly, if we want to count the number of cells which end in the text rows, we have to remove the ending asterisk. And of course, include the beginning asterisk in the formula. And then I click enter. And you can see we get the number three. That's because there are exactly three cells within this range which end with the text rows. That's all for this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get all my new tutorials. Also, hit the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up. See you in my next video. Bye now.